You know, we grew up and listen to Vibes Scott, tell the folk move forward from you know, I think. Yeah. Toughest lyricist. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So, you know, same operator, I cannot be bullied. No one can force me and tell me what to say or do on this platform that I work hard to build. A them girl of me love me now go lie down. She a bad blood clot girl with the bapet. Still have a three star, she a real attend. Tongue boy with a tattoo upon the leg. She said me knock her out the park, be a brute. Me not fi go on to hype, me fi be a youth. Me does a beat, beat, beat the kitty slave youth. Run up on me then you know that a grave youth. The boy a move faster than your one. But I no break make your one so brave youth. Your one so brave youth. Welcome to CMR. Yo, we're going to talk about the interview that Masika just did. Bounty Killer is a major influence to me. You know what I mean? Yeah, no. You know, we grew up and listen to Vibes Scott and the Pope move forward from you know what I think. Yeah. Toughest lyricist. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So, them time there, you know, Sizzla, Kalanje, Assassin, man yeah. like them there. Assassin have the bad flow them time there. The Murder. rookie they set a flow them. Yeah, man. And the sound, Assassin sound different, you know what I mean? So, no. Well, you know, let me put this out here from the start in the video. That interview, when I call the, the interview and ask her permission to use the clipping in my video, I even asked a question. And I was told, yo, this interview was done around two weeks after Vibes Cartel got out of prison. So this is a very old video. You understand me? That happened to release now. Timing is all, is everything. However, no. Guys, I'm going to show you how dancehall is at times and the supporters of dancehall music because I'm getting right to it. So I'm watching the interview. Very good interview, by the way. You know, Masika answer the questions, interview, ask the questions, and I like that. But I started to go in the comment section and I realized that people, they did not listen to the interview. And most of them, they can't be that dunce. Y'all can't be that dunce to don't be able to comprehend or understand because that's, that's clearly what it was. I like when the artists sit down with vloggers. I like when the artists do things with the vloggers to put vlogging on a different platform and on a different, you know, it's out there. Because gone was the days when artists wouldn't even want to be seen next to a vlogger because of whatever stigmatism surrounded. it. So we like that. Just like when Vibes Cartel did the interview with Abrando, we come out and we say we like that because it's a great look. Now, guys, let me tell you something. I realize that you guys like to move the goalposts. You will come and you'll say, yo, Vibes Cartel do this with an artist or with a vlogger. And if somebody else do it, yo, no, I copy up a thing, you know. And then if nobody else do it, why not get a next vlogger for do this? Why you not go do that interview you're with a person? Yeah? And then if you get it done, oh, yeah, follow up. You cannot please them and they move in the goalposts. So... You know same operator, I cannot be bullied. No one can force me and tell me what to say or do on this platform that I work hard to build. And not only that, I realized that the comment section, I bullied the man page because the man introduced my massacre eloquently and accurately and he stated he's dubbed. And I realized that, oh, I don't see comment section don't. Because they maybe not understand Oh, the man put out the information and oh, him introduced Massacre. They must say, Oh, you have to say Massacre, King of Dance Hall. Yo, Cartel are the reigning King of Dance Hall. Y'all yeah, need to chill that out. And not only that, Massacre big up Vibes Cartel in that interview. Massacre crowned him lyricist. You know, we grew up and listen to Vibes Cartel, a pope move forward from you know, I think. Yeah. Toughest lyricist. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So, you understand what I say? But here you are trying to paint the picture because this interview did not drop as it was shot. Because if this interview had shot, had dropped when it was shot, remember you know, in the time frame when this interview dropped, if it is not even, I think it's even earlier than that, people are saying, yo, Massacre, no big up cartel yet. Massacre did a show in Canada and he big up Vice cartels here in the video. Just that the video dropped today. A couple of hours ago. So you see, oh, sometimes we, as the bystanders or the outlookers, can paint pictures because some of the times the fans are the ones who point and start altercation between artists. You know, sometimes artist A and artist B, they don't really are best of friends, but the fans start say some things, and then artist A and artist B start preach. I don't know. Now, guys, look at this. 
Mind you, you know, I want to lay the cases out. And I know exactly what the comment section will say. They're still not going to listen because one thing with people, they're not like, accept when they're wrong. And in this case, I'm wrong. One, you know, the interview dropped late. Two, the man big up Vibes Cartel. And three, you know, I try to make it feel be what it's not supposed to. You know, like for move the goalpost. The interview asked him, who you influenced by? The man say, yo, Bounty Killer influenced me. I want you in my community name, Dala, Dala Kain or something like that. And then when it comes to lyrical artists, big up Vibes Cartel, the man, they are a lyricist, a master lyricist. The man, big up Vibes Cartel. Way before. Now, if this interview had dropped, I'll show you all the, the hypocritical aspect of this. I'm a love said the interview drop or it drop. You see, if this interview had dropped, Remember, I'm going to say no. And if you ask the man himself, he's going to say no, same way. But if this interview had dropped, the days when Vice Cartel just got out of prison, and on the ear him say, big up the lyricist in the dance hall, Vice Cartel, Vice Cartel himself would have put Massacre in him top five at that time. He would have remembered for do it. <laughs> he would have remembered for it because remember, this interview. It's not a recent interview. This interview was done at such time. And it is on the interviewer or the person who have the footage to release it. And he did not release it at the time. Now I'm trying to get a sit down with the interviewer because I want to ask him some questions. I might, you know, do a video with him just because I'm a dog. I know him. You understand me? So I'm going to ask him some questions as to why the interview never released as a shot and all them stuff because people can mistaken and look at it different. But more on the audience, I may talk about the audience of CMR who do critical thinking, who do logical reasoning, who have the, the mannerism, have the, the, the brain power to understand. When I read the comment section, the man introduced Massacre as the man who is on the throne to become the king. He has never, or the interviewer did not say, yo, Massacre, you are the king of dance hall. He did not say that. He's saying that Massacre is next in line. Bro. The man said Massacre is next in line to be king of dancehall. But the comment section, mad. So you're saying nobody should be in, in, in line. Because the last time I checked, Vibes Carter was in line when Beanie Man crowned himself king of dancehall. So the last time I checked, when Lady Saw put on Spice crown herself queen of dancer. So oh no, I go like on a tech thing for full full so as we say on can only bully the other platforms them into saying what on a want them for say. And some my thing work. Me talk off a fox, me keep it real. And if me for big up a man, me big up a man, and no boy or girl cannot dictate how me give my credit. When cartel for getting big up, no boy can tell me not do that. When Alkaline forget him big up, no boy can tell me not do that. When Popcorn, when Massacre, because this is called CMR TV. I want to for stop them little thing the more time. When people give them opinion, I want to listen before I want to talk. I want to sound dunce. I'm a no say, I want to artist and a dunce. You understand me? You do where the man, the man up in a head the same way and still a rhyme. The man exercise in brain. Every time he says something, he rhyme. To keep him brain active, because you feel like when I come make him and say he have Alzheimer's, he have to practice that. So I try to show an idea, say, as an interview, because you know why I have to, I don't know the same I come and speak out when I see injustice or things I agree with. Because at the end of the day, it could have easily be another vlogger. You understand me? And the man introduced him, the man asked, asked Masik about him career in the music, talk about him album. The man they forgot nothing controversy about the, the interview. No man just focus on massacre alone. But you have one and two people that try to make the narrative what it is not. You soon see two vloggers maybe come out and say, good thing me do this now because them brain are clear, they not go bother do it. But come out and say, massacre say I'm the king of the answer. The interviewer said, you're next in line. Your throne is next to become king. But when we read the comment section, Uno no, uno no wants to dance all elevate. You understand? Uno expects it. Somebody else now will come take over and run the place? No, bro. If I don't think that means Uno no want to dance all stuck. If I don't think 
So dance all nothing evolve on a crazy. And vibes cannot, can I with time, him cannot reign for a lifetime. He cannot. Man, every man have a dead. And it'll reach a point where him will get to a point where he's not physically capable of reigning either. So when you say a next man is next in line, it is not a crime. When you say a next man is doing the work too, putting in the work, and you know why someone is afraid, and this just tell me say, it is a threat. When you fear say, massacre with him greatness, the work where I put in, one day I going to be king then. Or popcorn, or alkaline, or any other artist where I put in the work, we, 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 we threaten the throne. Because I bet you said the interview was done with a regular artist and he said, Yo, I'm a king of dancers. Y'all wouldn't pay attention. You know why? Because he's not a threat to the throne. So this just tell me that when I agree, say Massacre is a threat to the throne. Bro, Vibes Cartel Rain and do some things to dance where some artists never do. I come talk about that and I tell you. No. Vibes Cartel fight for this when some boy never fight for this. Even some boy where eat off a dancer. Understand me? I will give him rightful credit every single time. You have, have some little idiot boy in the comment section when I like say yo, because you don't want to program dance all. Let me realize you don't want to program the artist them, you don't want to program the vlogger them, you don't want to tell them what to say and what not to say. Dog, you don't go create, you know how much I want to make create a um, YouTube channel and, and, and come talk with you. The amount of you know, me make create YouTube channel. We better have someone go do that to man so you can talk with you, man. Bro, at the end of the day, the interview was phenomenally done. Only thing with that critique is the, the camera angle. I feel like you could have, you know, but a young vlogger, and him a try him thing. And if you see Massacre sit down with a young vlogger, a vlogger when nobody, that's why I have to big up Vibes Cartel, and I have to big up Massacre, and any other vloggers will do it before. But technically, I'm Massacre do it first still, you know. You know, for only now, I go on like that. I'm Massacre do it first. The interview do way before. I just, I just the vlogger himself never drop the interview in time. If you give Massacre that credit to him for sit down with a vlogger. Well, really, I know him first, I mean for still, because I mean for sit down with artists. But you know what I mean? I just give the credit to Vibes Cartel for sit down with vloggers. A, mag a, a, a mega artist then, so to speak. And Massacre himself, another mega artist, sit down. So we love that. That's what I say, but we don't allow the youth to make them shine, man. When you can't fight the youth, there's no time, man. You understand what I mean? And in the comment section, the man never said, Massacre a current king. And even if he wants to say it, what's wrong? Then you feel like me could have actively in a dance hall and have a chance to run a place and come crown an next man king. You know, see when Vibes Cartel do in at the top five, instead of crown Massacre, well, well, can be a, him not do it, him wait for our next video to do it and say, race. So the, yo, you okay, can't understand, you understand my game, you know. Me and nah, no, say, you are my rival, I'm going to come tell my fans, say, yo, check him out, man, him bad. You mad? Why you think when I do the, inter the reviews, I'm going to tell you, say, yo, the man, I'm going to merge them brand with Vibes Cartel. And guess what? Vibes Cartel are the bigger brand. The bigger brand always merge the smaller company. And what you say happen? So you feel like Vibes Cartel are going to ever give him power? Especially if I say, him they are prison for 12 years and 10 months and come out now anymore and get peace and everything. My man, I live some different life, you know. 12 years ago, we need to see them type of, I look different vibes, you know. Them type of, and them money there, you know. So you feel like the man are no saying they are running and no saying physically fit, no saying brain still a kick, and no saying the fan they still love him and him still have the influence. And not take you say, no, yo, you know, say me, me I retire, me I pass on the truth. No, bro. Vibes now pass, not shown to nobody else but him son them. Rightfully so. We can't wrong that. So when you see a next man a fight for the throne, give him him credit. Well, you don't have to do it because you a fan of one artist. That's fine. But as a man like me, me have to give them them credit. Me name Dash Credit. I soon change all my channel name to Mr. Dash Credit. So if that credit they for dash over there, so I dash it over there. Even though Masika say no one them credit, if you put it on them sim. Masika, I don't use sim card. I e sim. And credit don't work for me thing, a monthly bill. So I don't mean attack I people in Jamaica. Or the other Caribbean country where you see. <laughs> but either way, the whole point is me and me, me is Mr. Dashy Credit. I don't have to like you if you big you up. Once you do the work, you get your big up. And that's something there. And remember, no boy or girl can convince or influence this platform and how to speak. 
my rhetoric will be from factual information or opinionated viewpoint. If I am wrong in some aspect, I am willing to sit here in front of the camera and say, I apologize, that was wrong information, and move forward. That's what you do. I am not those guys that you listen to, that you can go over your platform for three, four, five hours and they speak negatively on one artist and don't even speak or arguably defend the artist that they're actually representing because they're filled with negativity. And so this is a platform in world. We have sense, we're smart, we go to school and we have degrees. So we don't make boy trick with. You understand me? I saw it go. Big up yourself, Massacre. Big up vibes too. I own me see. Come out and sit down with the vlogger them right way. You saw me I say, but big up every other artist will do it too.